Hi, my name is Kate Roots, and I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we stand. I would also like to pay respect to elders both past and present. To my absolute surprise, I am the overall winner of the 48th Rio Tinto and QAL Martin Hansen Memorial Art Award, judged by Sarah Johnson and exhibiting at the Gladstone Regional Art Gallery and Museum. My winning piece is called If I Climb the Hill. This is my artist statement. I'm a First Nations artist and illustrator, a whaleware woman. This painting represents the First Nations gap in the justice ecosystem. The heaviness of the load weighs on everyone who becomes part of the journey. The victims and their families. Victim support staff, prosecutors, the defendant and their criminal lawyer. Witnesses and the judge and also so many others. Moving forward, undoing the past. To understand my painting is to understand me. I paint in the way that someone might write a diary. I have worked in different jobs in the law sector and for a short period studied law at university. I developed a deep concern for First Nations people who are caught up in the justice ecosystem and the gap is huge. My painting took 18 months to complete remembering that I am a sole parent of three small children. My trauma as a victim of domestic violence is hidden deep within this painting. As I painted, I slowly released the burden I was carrying. The colours I used depict the darkness I felt as I struggled up what often feels like an endless climb. The parachute is draping over the land, with their principal crown prosecutor feeling the weight of the load. In the painting, there are a number of First Nations people, victims and perpetrators caught up in the justice system, including the family on the rocks, struggling with their disadvantage. The hope in the painting is in the totems, which are the animals and birds. My own totem is the emu, which is also in the painting. I've developed my creative process through childhood and then through university where I majored in illustration. In my childhood, I spent the majority of it drawing and painting. University gave me the next level skills and introduced me to different materials, techniques and mediums. I do not plan. I hate planning my artwork with a passion. I just don't work that way. I may be thinking about an issue that's on my mind or a feeling. That's there for a while. My environment needs to be right. I need to be able to be close to nature, whether it's trees, plants, the earth, and definitely the water, the sea, rain, river, or even a pond, the sound of animals like birds and insect noises. The colours of nature spill onto the palette. The palette is vital and it takes time to mix the colours to match my feelings. Once the palette is there, it usually starts with a tiny paintbrush on a carbon black painted prime Belgium linen canvas. Painting is a journey because I have the inspiration, feelings and drive. Images move around in my mind but I know as much as each stroke of paint. The ending is always an exciting moment. That moment is relief and a sense of accomplishment. As a First Nations person with autism, I believe that my future is communicating to those around me through my art. I would like to be able to build a life for myself and my children using the talent that I was given. I need to give special thanks to my friend Andrea, who encouraged me to enter the competition and then transported the painting to Gladstone for me. Thank you for the opportunity to share with you. I'm truly grateful and I hope you enjoy my art. I'm happy to discuss my work with you and answer any questions.